Adam, you should boycott Sony. Why? Why, why? why should I boycott Sony? Tell me. Because of their bad behavior? Well, I'm talking about it right here, right now. I'm openly criticizing it with objectivity because I realize that's how you do it. Simply canceling a game, returning it, not buying it. That's one way. But then once you make that one little move, there's no other further action. By talking about it, by furthering the conversation, by not letting it simply get swept under the rug, that to me is much more effective than a single statement of give me my money back or not going to buy it all. Especially not, you, while not buy it all works, you're, it's kind of a silent protest. This, I'm opening the doors. I'm shining light on it. I'm pointing out that Sony is behaving badly and it will reflect poorly for many people. So you're going to give them a stern talking to, but still give them your money? Got it. Great plan. A stern talking always stops greed, corruption, and a will to dominate others. Howdy all, I'm Matt on the Renaissance Nerd. So there I was early this morning, it's midnight, I'm sitting here, I'm having a nice chill time, playing some Final Fantasy XIV with some of the boys, and suddenly, Static 2020 says to me, go, whoa, hey, whoa, guys, check this out, what? We go, what? They, it, it's over. What, what do you mean it's over? Sony, they, they've reversed on the whole Helldivers PSN account thing. We go, What? Really? What? He goes, yeah, check it out. From the PlayStation X Twitter account itself. So then we all go look at it, and boom. There it is. Helldivers fans, we've heard your feedback on the Helldivers 2 account. Linking update. The May 6 update, which would have required Steam and PlayStation Network account linking for new players and for current players beginning May 30th, will not be moving forward. We're still learning what is best for PC players, and your feedback has been invaluable. Thanks again for your continued support of Helldivers 2, and we'll keep you updated on future plans. Well, uh, as I showed you in my opener for the video, I was told... That talking about this, that having a conversation, that being objective and not grandstanding and moralizing and being all angry, I was told that just having a conversation was not going to solve anything. Well, look what happened. We talked about it. We pointed it out. We had intelligent conversation. People publicly shamed Sony, and it looks like my whole angle of bad PR week for Sony kind of came true. It was too much. Now, I can readily admit that in that same video and other conversations on that day and a day or so later, I said, I don't think Sony's actually going to do anything in the end. I think this die is cast. I think it's too far down the road, and if anything is going to happen... It's going to be a few more days before something even starts to turn and maybe they try to do more damage control. Well, wow, I was wrong on that end, though, because here we are. It took literally, I would say, just about 54 hours, maybe 68, something like that. Not quite three days worth, but in less than 72 hours, Sony reversed course. And why did they reverse course? Let's be honest. It was the total combination of everything. It was the social media pushback, the discussions, the, hey, let's not let them get away with this. Let's keep pointing it out. At the same time, negative reviews on Steam, publicly saying, look, this is bad. Why are you doing this? Pointing out, hey, I want a refund. Hey, I'm not going to buy this in the first place now, even though I'm in a part of the world which can. It all was part of the equation, and talking about it was the biggest thing because when everybody's talking, when everybody's having the conversation, it doesn't look good. It's not a good, not a good situation for Sony, and that's what happened. So those, of the, those who said to me, just talking about it, oh, you, you're not going to accomplish anything. Well, it looks like I added my voice to the chorus, and it did accomplish something. One United Gaming pushback of, hey, don't tell us what to do. Now, going forward, what does this mean? This is a win 
for gamers. This means you can have your voice heard and you don't necessarily have to be emotionally insane about it. You can be angry, but re re realize where your anger needs to be directed. Your anger had to be directed at the reason why this was bad. Sony had no right to suddenly change the rules. People were saying, but Adam, now you've got games like Ghost of Tsushima. That's going to be coming out. And now you need to push back on the PSN Lincolns. It's likely going to be there. No, you don't. You know why? Because they're going to be upfront about it. If they put it up front and say, hey, listen, you will need a PSN account. Guess what? Now they're behaving like Microsoft, like EA, like Ubisoft, like every other game that requires you to log into an account before you play the game. Now they're playing by the rules that have been established and accepted. Even though they're stupid, they are established and accepted. And now it's your choice not to play it if you don't want your PSN, you don't want a PSN account in the first place. As for everything else, this isn't the over the story isn't quite over yet because we have to remember now they need to have it for sale again in the countries that they removed the ability to purchase it. Because that's what Steam did over the weekend. They removed the ability in 177 countries to buy Helldivers 2 in the first place. They need to restore that. Everybody already has it. They get to keep going. People are happy. People are ready to play. But we have to remember one other thing. Arrowhead is not completely innocent in all of this. Yes, the CEO, after many tarted statements about how to react to this, he did listen, but he also, there, he has a problem with his community management team who have repeatedly attacked fans and happily said, we're doing all this so we can ban you more easily, that kind of stuff, especially when it comes to this special person, Baskinator, who removed their flags when they came under fire, who continually attacks people as of last night in the Discord, according to my source, who was reading Discord in that moment? I could, I could say Dermy Wormy was reading the Discord as we were talking about this last night. So he saw last night that Baskinator was still shitting on fans as of the announcement of Sony pulling back this bad decision. So Arrowhead still has a situation that could still sour the milk for a lot of people. A lot of people aren't going to forgive this. A lot of people are going to say, screw you. We're not going to bother with you at all anymore anyway. You know what? That's fine. If you feel like your bridge has been burned too horribly to rebuild it, that's your choice. But the majority of people are, well, they're pleased as punch. They're enjoying themselves. They're ready to dive back in and spread democracy. Because guess what? If you're having fun with the game, it's going to be, it's still there. It's still there because guess what? The game didn't really change. It's still a good game for, I would say, 95% of the gaming population that enjoys this. And I'm happy for them. I'm happy that people are going to have a good time. But now, let's just make sure everything follows through. Let's make sure Sony doesn't do something like this again with underhanded measures. If they're up front, there's no story. If they show you in the beginning, hey, you need this to play, then it's up to you to make that decision fully informed. You make your voice heard, and you get a result. You don't say anything. You cry about it and just throw a tantrum. Well, that doesn't actually solve anything. But having a real conversation, being objective about it, pointing out the legitimate reasons why people are angry and why they have a right to push back. Here we are. Helldivers 2. Will it be saved forever? It's not going to be the disaster we all thought it was going to be 72 hours ago. But it is now... And now it still has a future. Let's just put it that way. Helldivers 2 has a future. Everybody's ready to dive back in. And you know what? Go have your fun. Play your games. But never, never forget that your voice matters. And when you do it responsibly, you get results. All right. I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you're new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube. We hope to earn your trust and support using facts and logic because facts and logic do not care about whiny Stan, fake fan, and SJW Fifi's. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out my gaming channel at Renaissance Nerd Arcade, and follow me on X Twitter under at the Red Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.